today we are going to talk about key clock user management using admin api mainly i am going to start a new key clock server and do some testing using postman collection mainly i am going to create new user and add assign roles to user using rest api this is the my main aim today and i already installed installed the key clock server in my last video you can check it if you need more details i will quickly install a new account go to key clock main server and this is the download go to download and download this zip file after downloading it please extract it i already did it let me go to it and this is that folder go to it and go this bin and open a cmd in here then you have to start key, key clock server to that type this command kc bat and start build and you can specific specific your port if you not don't need you can do that also then it will open in 8080 port but if you need you any specific port just do this http port equal 1890 i will open a clock server in port 1890 then start it yes it's already started then go to browser and type localhost and port 1890 my case and it will open this interface this is the uh, admin panel for key clock you have to first create an account if you are login first time and i will create admin admin then create account after creating account please login using this admin console and type your uh, credentials which you created now this is this is a fresh key clock account and you have to create a vellum go to this drop down and click this create vellum and i will create a demo vellum just type anything you need after creating it uh, make sure to select it from here demo account then you have to create a client we are using client to communicate with this key clock account mainly go to this client section and create a new client i will create a demo client and that's it next button and you have to give some authorizations to access this endpoint so you have to give this authorization access for this client next you don't need to configure this configuration for now just save it after creating key clock account just go to this client section and see here your demo accounts already created now you can see there are roles assigned to this and users and every detail sign here now let me try to login using postman collection to this using postman collection to this client just open your postman and create a new collection i will block oh, i will give this name and next step is to uh, and then you i will create the login endpoint and i did this example in last video also you can check it and first thing is you have to add a host name uh, i am creating a host name as a variable host And you can get these details from your browser window. 
in here there is realm settings go to it and here open id endpoint configuration click it here you can get details here i am using going to use this token endpoint this one just copy it login and paste it and we can pass this as a parameter it's a host name and next one is this realm name you can pass it also next one is then you need that client id and client secret just type client id and client secret and these are the main variables we are going to save because we are using those uh, variables again and again it is easier to save it again and after that we are going to login for login just go into body and select this form unicode and you have to pass grant type and client id and client secret here we already saved client secret and client id uh, let me show you how to get this client secret and client id just go to your admin panel in client section go to your uh, client and uh, in my case demo client and go to this um, credentials tab here you can see client secret copy it and add it in here click lock and client secret and client id go to this settings tab and here demo client it is your client id and add it client id that's it now go to login endpoint and here you can see your details are in here client id client secret yeah it's working okay. now you have to give grant type so in here uh, we are going to use client id and client secret so we have to give here client credentials credentials and credentials that's it let's test it yeah yeah it's need to be a post request and here you will get a access token just copy this one and let's check it in our browser jwt i go to this site and you can take a look your token body here you can check you can get to all every role details and scope and everything you can find from here and yeah that's it for now it's already working fine and another one thing is we have to uh, save this token into our local variable collection variable let me do that and go to this settings tab and you have to type pm dot and collection variable we have to set it we are going to set access token and variable is pm from response dot json and we are getting access token yeah, that's it and 
from this what we are going to do is when we are login we are try to save this access token in a collection variable so we have to add this into collection variable go to our collection again and add it here that's it for now let me try to log it again go to that and here you can see it's already saved in this variable then we can use this and that's it for our login endpoint uh, our next case is we are going to create a, here you can see that uh, so the main site here you have users we have to add users to this client so we are going to use create a users using rest api and for that uh, Keyclock provide the admin API which we can use to uh, when we are going to use REST API we can use that uh, admin API to integrate with Keyclock so let me go to that site uh, here you can type Keyclock admin API here yeah, first time this is it. Uh, if you need, you can. Uh, yeah. Here is the main. You can go through this. This is the API, REST API, which we can use when you are without using interface. If you need to uh, integrate with this our app, then we can use this REST API. First, I am going to create a user account. Uh, for that, you have to go try this users. Here, you can create a user account using this one and this and parameters are part parameter is LM and body parameter is with user represent here you can get all these all details from this site and let me do create that account uh, first you have let me create a new request it the uh, post request and here you have to provide your URL for that. Let, let me get the URL from site here. This is the URL. And first thing is we have to add your basic URL also. My basic URL is hostname slash and then you have to add a uh, to access admin you have to add this admin URL. i will provide all those details in link you can get copy paste from there and next one is realm realms and users this is the endpoint for creating create a new account user account then body, uh, we have to authenticate it this is a beer token access to when it's done for now and it, it, uh, for body it is a raw json and i will copy my body you have and explain it i will provide it i already did this part this is uh, my main features we have to add when we are creating account this enable mean we are giving access to that user and email verification mean if that true or false and email username password those are the main configuration we have and credentials mean you are going to give credentials that password to access your account this is it for now and attribute you can give some key value pair to identify this user and that's it for now i will give this as a create account create user and let me test it Sorry, I did one mistake. You have to give this realm also after realm. You have to pass realm. Then test it. And it not working. I will explain why. Yeah, it's not working because uh, let me go to this login account and paste it. And here in this user. Yeah. This role uh, we haven't give our account management 
feature so it's not uh, uh, this user cannot create new users so we have to give account management for that you go to here and clients and demo clients and go to this service account roles here you have to assign a role it's a client and check there is a account manager use account management or you can give admin access here well i'm admin access assign it now let's log in it again and check this body here then you can see here there are many features now now let's try to log in it again and run this endpoint yeah it's created let me go to site and go to users here your user already created and attribute also there we added attribute and credentials also added and role mapping is not in here yeah this is the basic part of creating an account now next part is we going to assign a new role and for that let me create a new role you have to go to this client section go to demo client and roles let me create a new for test it i will create a quickly from here i will create admin role save it and i'm going to create another role super user yeah save it here you can see it now in client area roles here yeah, you have created two roles now i am going to access these roles for that you have another endpoint you can get all these details from here i will already i did it so i am copying from there just create a new request and for get all roles you have to access this one it is uh, we have to change this to our details host name and realm just we have to save it first and this is our realm and client uid this client uid let me show you we have to add it into here and this client uid mean we have to get it from here when you are logged into site just go to your client area and go to your specific client here you after this client part there is a uid this is your client id just copy it and paste it to here and that's it now your client id rolls yeah this endpoint will, will give you all the roles you created you have to authenticate it and authenticate it go to body and test it here yeah. it's give all users you have roles you created super user role admin role and other roles also and i will put it get roles next step is we are going to assign a role to our user uh, we have created new user test admin and we haven't mapped any roles so i'm going to create that one for it let me create a new add request and i will copy it also from this one Uh, before that there is another endpoint which we can get um, role details by name role name let me call that first this endpoint yeah we have to change first name and realm name and client id and next 
Sun is here you can get using this endpoint you can get to your role details by role name and let there is a, I will give this admin role I am going to get these details about this and you have to add authorization also and check it here yeah, it will give all details about admin role it will helpful for you when you are working with that app and that's it I will save it this is a get all by yeah. and anyway I will provide this collection then you can work use uh, do your testing using it you don't need to find get these URLs and next one is I'm going to assign a user to go add a new one and assign a role to user and this endpoint is let me copy it this one it is a post and how to then post and also yeah that's it and you have to after user you have to provide this your user id also you can get user id from go to one of user and this here user id this is your user id copy it your user id and all mapping client and client id that's it and you have to authorize it and in your body it is a row json object you have to give your array of roles i will provide one example here this is your array of roles let me i am going to add this is a admin i will give access this one here what we do going to do is we give this user admin role let me post it yeah uh, you have to uh, this will expire quickly so you have to give more expired date if you need and run it again here create let me go to site and go to this user and go all the here already added let me give another one and here we can give super user let me check it from here it will give super role and go to here at this one. yeah go to site and check it sorry you have to let me roll mapping here it's already working now using these basic rest apis you can do anything related to most of the cases you can create a new account and assigning a role and login using this main endpoint you can do most of the uh, config configuration related to your apps also and that's it for now thank you